Okay, so today I decided to do a Miley Cyrus inspired look, I guess you can say. And um, what I took was a bunch of pictures that I've seen on like um, like blogs and stuff like that. Or just random pictures on the internet and kind of like her everyday makeup and stuff like that. So definitely um, I'll put pictures either in the down bar or on the video. I don't know yet. And um, a lot of her looks, she had pink lips, she had um, eyeliner on and like this shimmery color on her lid. Very simple and wearable so I thought I would do something like that. For some reason I went back to the footage and um, the light really messes up the colors or really messes up um, like the way the color looks. At, at least that's what I thought, I don't know. Um, but I'll definitely have pictures of the look instead so you guys can see how it looks better. And, um, yeah. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys like it. So, let's start out using Urban Decay's Primer Potion on your lid. And, um, this is going to help your eye makeup just stay on longer. Then I'm using... Beachy Girl by Elizabeth Arden, and if you don't have this one, another good dupe for it is Loft Lofty by Hip L'Oreal. So I'm taking this and I'm putting this on my um, lid, and also just a little bit above my lid, almost to the cr well, yeah, to the crease. Quite honestly. I love um, this cream shadow base. It's so awesome. Next, I'm taking this is um, Seashell by Ulta. And I'm using a fluffy flat brush. And I'm putting this on my lid. And I see in most of the pictures that she has, she has like a lot of light into her eyes. So I'm also taking this in my inner corner up to the crease. This is going to make it look like I have a big, I guess, a big lid when I really don't. And all you have to do is just do it in here. You don't have to do the whole thing. If you want to, it's up to you, but I just usually do it there. Next, I'm taking Terry by Lancome, and it's this color right here and it looks like this that's the swap it's like this brown pinkish color and I can't believe I just stuck my fingers in there that's gross but I'm taking that with a um, crease brush and I'm putting this in my crease and up to my almost my brow but as soon as you're going to get to your brow just go down so it's kind of like creating a new crease for me. If you don't, if you don't have like a really high crease, like over here, as you can tell, my crease is that in there. But I go just a little bit above, so you can still see that color when my eyes are closed, or when I'm just looking straight at a camera. And because it's this, it's really hard to describe. It's like a brownish with a little bit of red undertones into it, pinkish undertones. So when it's on top of seashell, it, seashell is a, let me show you, it's like a pinky um, color that when it's, when you place that, it's like a pinky, um, corally, shimmery, pearly color that when you place terry on top, it looks like it's a pink brown when it's really not. Okay. So I'm doing that. Next I'm taking Latte by Lancome, which is just a matte white creamy color. And I'm putting this as my highlight. Next I'm going to go ahead and take another fluffy brush like this. And I'm taking, if I can find it, oh, I'm taking Brown Down by MAC. And this is just going to make that terry, the terry color more brownish. So I'm just putting this in my outer corner of my eye. And 
applying this really gently on top of that um, of the terry colors just so it makes it look more brown than um, pink because it does look pink all right next I'm taking this is L'Oreal telescopic and carbon black and I'm making a thin line on my eye as you can see over here so I'm just gonna pretty much line my eye like so and where I'm just gonna make a nice wing out so pretty much where um, the bottom of my lower lashes and I'm just going to extend it. Like so. And then I'm just going to close my eyes. Connect that end in here. And just fill it in. Okay. So once that's done... I'm going to go ahead and use, um, this is Carbon, no wait, Carbon. This is Smolder by MAC, and I'm putting this on my waterline. Like so. I've got a big smudge on my face. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and take um, a flat brush. This is by Sonia Cashew, and it's just a nice small flat brush, and I'm taking Carbon by MAC, and I'm making, um, taking it, and I'm just going to smudge this under my lower lashes. It helps if you get a mirror and just look down, because the more down you look, the more space it seems to have. I'm just going to do it really quickly. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take, again, um, this is Seashell. And I'm putting just a little bit on my inner corner of my eye. Just to, again, make the eye look bigger and with more light. I'm taking Sephora's mascara. And putting some. Okay. Lastly, I'm taking some lashes. And these lashes are... Let me see. What are they? are like butterfly lashes I think. They're like the Ardell um, Demi Wisp and I'm gonna go ahead and apply those really quick. Curl your lashes before applying any fake ones and okay so I have to let my glue dry a little bit and then I'm just gonna coat them with a coat of mascara and then I'll be so right back. So for my cheeks, I'm taking a big fluffy brush like this and I'm taking this color right here and this color up there. So I'm taking the lightest color and just highlighting my face with it. You can also use the, what's the coastal scent? The blush contour palette thingy. And then I'm taking the other color and putting it on my cheeks. Or um, any blush that you want to use, it's okay. Next, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. And this is Estee Lauder Color and Pink Writer. So I'm just going to line my lips really quick. Taking my finger and just smudging that liner out. And I'm taking my favorite um, lipstick, and this is by Maybelline, and this is Pink Me Up number 045, and it looks like that. And I'm putting this on top of the liner. Okay. 
I'm just patting it like so. Alright, so this is the look. Um, really simple and easy. Thanks for watching. I'll have pictures at the end of the video. Bye!